Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Friday, October 21st, cycle day E. I'm Trey. And I'm Allie. Today is the last day to sign up to participate in SAD. OIW applications are due to Mrs. Spangler by next Friday, October 28th. Attention girls varsity tennis team members. Uniforms must be turned into Miss Cobra in room 28D next to Miss Abel's and Mr. Wright's room or to Mr. Podrebarek by Tuesday, October 25th. On Monday, October 24th, California University is visiting. Attention high school students. If you participated in the yearbook fundraiser, please see Miss Lederman immediately to receive your yearbook order form. This form accurately shows your discount based on how many items you sold in the fundraiser. Legion of Doom shirts are currently available in the high school office. Deadline for orders is November 4th, and they can be turned in back to the office. Today for lunch, we are having mozzarella cheese sticks, pizza sauce dippers, broccoli with melted cheese, strawberry applesauce, and fresh fruit. Today in sports, there's a boys varsity football game home against Berlin. Please wear your pink to support the pink out. Good luck to our boys. Thanks, and, and have, have a perfect, perfect day. day. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Attention all juniors, yesterday was our first turn-in day for the magazine drive and we raised $1,300 towards our goal. Don't forget the next turn-in day is next Thursday, October 27th. Please bring in your packets and money to your first period class and a class council member will come pick it up. Next week's prize is one Twix per two orders you turn in. Thank you all so much and remember this all goes back to you. Good morning, I'm Bailey with your daily weather forecast. Today is going to be rainy with a high 55 and a low of 37. Today's chance of precipitation is 100% and this weekend is going to be very chilly. Saturday's weather will be rainy with a high of 45 and Sunday's weather will be mostly sunny with a high of 57. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. National Pumpkin Cheese Dick Day is celebrated annually on October 21st. Adding pumpkin to one of America's favorite desserts gives it its own special day. And fall is the perfect season to enjoy the delightful and delicious dessert. Today's word of the day is trumpery. Pretty or fancy objects that are completely useless can be called trumpery. Your huge collection of animal salt and pepper shakers is nothing but trumpery. Thanks and have a great day. Does the unusual use of instruments, experimental song rhythms, and abstract story-like lyrics seem like something that's up your alley? Well then progressive rock might become your new favorite musical genre. Hi everyone, this is Jake Dreisel with your second music genre of the week. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what the heck is progressive rock? Well. Progressive rock is a style of rock music that emerged in the UK and the United States during the mid-1960s. The arrival of the genre came from rock bands who started to abandon traditional pop structures in favor of instrumentation and musical compositions found in jazz, folk, and classical music. The Beach Boys album Pet Sounds and the Beatles album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band are the best examples of this as those bands started to utilize experimental production styles and featured odd instruments such as violins, organs, and flutes. These albums gave rock music more artistic value and catapulted the sounds of progressive rock. In progressive rock bands, lyrics are more poetic and surreal and typically deal with themes found in folklore and fantasy fiction. Bands avoided the verse-chorus-verse structure and instead made long, freeform epics, sometimes lasting over 20 minutes in length. 
Although progressive rock bands included unorthodox instruments, they also used keyboards and synthesizers to help create soundscapes and timbres. Progressive rock made its peak in the early 1970s, as bands gained critical acclaim and commercial success. However, the sound started to fade away a short time later, mostly due to increasing negativity from music critics. Still, many progressive rock bands are still active today. Some of the best known progressive rock bands include King Crimson, Pink Floyd, and Rush. So if you're looking for some new music to add in your library, then maybe you should check out some progressive rock. Thank you and have an awesome day.